Hey, what's up friends? I'm going to show you a really quick way that you can set up variants in Figma. I um, was just about to dive in and do this for a project and I thought I'd make a video and a little tutorial out of it. So um, this little app we have here, um, this is Pastor and you can set different statuses and share it with people. So all that to say, we have these components um, that um, have an on and off state and they have a different um, way of communication. Don't pester, um, only pester me if you need to, and then you can pester me. So um, what this was in the past is we would have you know this, this component and it would have active and inactive and you could swap those off and on um, pretty easily and then if you wanted to you could click down in one more level and you could change the um, the color to green orange or red um, so that was kind of best practices for for what we were using last um, iteration before variants came out um, but if we wanted to make one variant out of all of these um, what I would do is I would take this master component that's already been created and I would uh, move this over and then I would hit variant and it's going to create the exact same variant just one level below it um, so that's obviously not what we want but we're going to build these out in a way um, that's going to have that customization so um, I know that we want to control two different uh, properties we want to control is it um, is this selected and then we want to control the state whether green orange or red so in the first property I'm gonna put selected and with selected um, this is like a binary yes or no on or off so with variance if you have something and the options are on or off or yes and no um, it's going to give you a nice toggle component that you can um, switch when we get to your to our variation so I'm gonna put um, on and off so when I click into this specific um, component within the variant um, it has selected and it has off that's great um, and then the next one is on but it's not actually on we need to change that so let us see um, we're actually going to just move this in and what I like to do is put a auto layout on my uh, variant so that it will just grow as you add new ones. So selected we will say on. Cool. So selected off, selected on. We can test this out by dragging an instance of one of these components into our um, canvas. So I'm just going to hold option, click and drag and what we can see here is that this now has selected on or off. So that's working nice. Um, the next thing we want to do is add in these. The components are already built and everything kind of exists or can be swapped out within you know this master component. Um, so what we're gonna do is just create another one. I'm just gonna hit Command D and then uh, let's see we're gonna add a new property and this is going to be state and the states are gonna be green orange and red so uh, let's see we have selected off state green we have selected off and then we will change this to orange. So I need to change this orange. 
and then finally we need a red one we'll just go ahead and call it red and then come in here and change it to red um, so this is cool this is you know we're, we can have something on and um, or let's see we can have it off and we can change it to all of these however if we go into selected and hit on we only have one variation of a selected component and the only one is green so uh, we need to add in orange and red so I'm just going to add those in come down orange this red and then we just need to go back and make sure that our uh, properties match so uh, in this case I have green even though um, it's orange and Figma gives us a nice little um, alert that says hey there's a conflict there's another variant within this um, group that has these two exact same criteria so um, I need to change that to orange I need to change this to red and then if we click at the top of it we see no issue or no alert and again we can pull out one of these and we can say is this selected cool is it orange is it green awesome so it's working great working as expected and now we can just use this single status tile to pull into our screens uh, and we don't actually need these anymore because everything's going to be controlled within here so um, yeah that's a little run through on how to uh, make a variant out of an existing component and hope this was helpful and I will see you guys later